Station mark. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Today is kind of a fun day. I'm doing a uh, blower door test. It's not the code compliant blower door test, but it's a um, mid construction blower door test to test the pressure boundary before everything is closed up. So I guess I'll get into the point of the blower door test is to ensure that you have a intact air control layer, which allows uh, the ability to uh, maintain control of the internal uh, air. So you can regulate humidity, temperature, uh, and pressure uh, easier if you have control over it. So a couple terms I want to go over first is um, Pascal is a, it's a unit of measure for pressure and in relation to an inch of water column it's 250 pascals approximately for one inch of water column. So it's pretty small amount of pressure. It's often equated to a 15 mile per hour wind on the side of a house is approximately 50 pascals. And 50 pascals is what the test uh, generally uses on residential construction. A couple more things to mention about this test is that it's, um, as I said, a pre-blower uh, door test. So it's a mid-construction blower door test. And the way the house is set up right now is there's no penetrations through the envelope or the pressure boundary, as we're going to refer to it. Uh, there's no uh, dryer duct or hood vent or uh, stack pipe coming through the roof or anything like that. So it's all completely intact. Uh, the only hole in the pressure boundary is the radon pipe in the basement, and that's been sealed up with a piece of plastic and tape. So another term to define is uh, ACH, or air changes per hour at 50 pascals of pressure. Uh, that's the standard for measuring the pressure boundary of the building. Um, so at 50 pounds, uh, 50 pascals of pressure, uh, which is what this fan is going to uh, put the house under as a testing condition, it then measures how much air leaks out of the uh, pressure boundary. Um, and that amount of air in cubic feet per minute in relation to the total volume of the house is how many uh, air changes per hour would, would take place if that amount of air leaked out under the test conditions. So the code is three air changes per hour for uh, at 50 pascals uh, to meet the code minimum. My goal for the house is one air change per hour. And uh, under this test, I was expecting to be around uh, one air change per hour. Another standard out there is uh, called Passive House Standard, and that's a 0.6 air change per hour. All right, setting this thing up, did all my math, uh, got an app to run the blower door and put all the information in. Total volume is 41,865.25 cubic feet. Something to mention here is that the pressure boundary is at the roof line, the sheathing uh, plane, and not at the drywall, which means that it takes up the attic space, which is a little bit larger than what it would be if it was just drywall. I'm just gonna take the baseline readings now. It's not windy outside. There's no temperature differences in between inside and outside, so it should be pretty low. It's 0.2 Pascals baseline. All right, and then I'm going to do, I'm only going to take out two and the fan, everything's set up for just two out of it. And it's automatically starting up and it runs it all itself. So I started the test here and realized that two plugs was a little bit too much. Uh, and the fan speed was running uh, too low of a speed to be able to maintain a high enough pressure 
inside the fan Ramping to read accurately, so I had to switch it out and just uh, do one plug, Went a little too which high meant first. that the building was tighter than I thought it was. We might have to go to one ring, because two appears to be difficult. Try that again. House is tight. All right, 50% fan speed is going to be right around. It's going to find its equilibrium here. We're around 130, 140 CFM. All right, 0.21. ACH 50. 0.21 ACH 50. That's unbelievable. Can also be interpreted as 143 cubic feet a minute for anybody who uh, knows how to manipulate the ACH number. Thanks for watching the video and uh, on the next video I'm going to talk about the fire rated floor assemblies.